Hey, what's up? Notorious Zignul here at Fighting Arts Academy, and I'm about to get a boxing session in with my coach, Scott LeBrie. When I work mixed boxing or striking, we try to do about uh, 10 or 15 three-minute rounds. Uh, it varies depending on his fight. I always start off with some shadow boxing. I try to get up center, and we get midway through the workout, through the mitts, work on his power, slipping, dipping, right angles to get and all that. And because he has some range issues, so we try to really work on the end of his punch and where he can be most effective with his power. I'm really working on his straight right punch, coming that with his left elbow. I put on a training mask, it helps emulate elevation training, so it's almost like I'm training up at the mountains, even though I'm, I'm down here on the shoreline. I'm taking that extra step to make sure that my cardio is there so it's not an issue. A lot of people look at me and they're like, oh, he has one hand, like, how do you do things? And like, at the end of the day, you know, you gotta realize that life's not fair. Sometimes you start a little bit further back from the starting line and you're going to have to work a little bit harder and push it faster to get to the finish. And, and I'm willing to put in the work to compensate for other things to get ahead and to get to where I want to be. My head coach, Jeremy Lebeshevsky, is in charge of my training camp. He really maps out everything for me. A lot of things to make myself more explosive and, and quicker on my feet and stronger, and it's really helped step my game up a lot. He doesn't feel like he has to do ground and pound or submission or strike. He feels he's a good MMA fighter across the board. He can do everything. He wants to win so bad that he feels like he has to uh, turn over every single rocket. I mean, he has to make sure he did everything in his, his uh, power to win, you know? But sometimes taking a day off is what you need to do, you know? You know, I'm just in the gym showing up every day and, and working hard, and uh, I'm going to improve because I want it more, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, to get to the next level. When going into a fight, I really clean up my diet, you know? I'm, just like everyone else, you know, I love cheeseburgers and pizza and french fries and burritos, but, um, you know, I have a lot of weight to cut. I'm, I'm not a small 155 pounder. I'm not the biggest one, but, you know, I, I was up at about 185. For lunchtime, I like to have something with a little rice in it uh, to give me some carbs to fuel me up for the day. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. It's actually not really my crib. I stay with my coach. Uh, when I come up to Springfield. I'm from Southern Connecticut and I'm lucky enough to have someone that cares about me and helps me with my nutrition and gives me a place to stay when, when I need to train. I'll show you guys my room. I sleep down in the basement. <laughs> He's got three kids. I'm like the fourth one. I'm like the oldest one. So, uh, you know, I have all their toys laying around. Maybe a dinosaur or two, maybe mine. You know, who knows? But, uh, this is basically where I sleep. It may not be the most luxurious thing in the world, but it's, it's perfect for me. Me and him came up at the same time, and he's like a phenomenal wrestler. And, uh, he's kind of like a big brother to me, and a, a, a role model, and someone that I looked up to and learned a lot from. You know, you gotta be safe when you're on motorcycles. And, you know, he made one mistake, and now he's no longer with us. And, you know, I, I think about him every time. I go out there to fight and he was a best friend and a brother and you know he'll never be forgotten and he'll always be with me. I'm here at Western New England uh, University Wrestling Room. It's where I went to college. Uh, never forget your roots. I'm still very much a part of the team. And I come in whenever I can to help out, and it's been great. You know, I, I get to wrestle with all these young, hungry college kids, and it's great practice. I've 
known Nick for about nine, ten years now. We were teammates together here for three years. We were co-captains. Wrestling with him every day was tough. We were the same weight class, so we were going at it every day, pretty much. And we were not nice to each other. But he made me better. I like to think I made him better. I feel like wrestling works the best for getting someone on the ground and keeping them there. And if you want to win, set up your ground and pound. You know, it's good to have a good, solid wrestling base. I got to go live a little bit and practice my scrambles, so. If I can go in every day and, and fight like I know I can, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to, to be the best fighter I can be, and I don't see why I can't be anyone in the world. Hope you guys enjoyed the day with me. I work on my boxing a little bit and work with my head coach. You know, we went out to lunch. And I gave you a tour of where I stay. And then we went to Western New England for some wrestling. So thanks for coming to Stack.com and watching a day in the life of Nick.